How you doing beautiful people? This is Robert again and today I thought I would talk a little bit about stencils and the right way to do them and the wrong way to do them. Okay, so a lot of people when they get a stencil they get a, a beautiful face going on and they get you know all kinds of things and features in the middle of the face and they have you know stuff like this going on so and they want to go oh well if I cut out this shape and then cut out this shape cut out this shape cut out this shape and then cut out this shape I'll get a stencil that I can use to airbrush or tap my paintbrush on top of or use with my spray paint but the problem there is anytime you cut out a shape inside another shape it falls out so how do we get around that well the best kinds of stencils are small shapes like these all disconnected and with the areas of uh, stencil material between them so how do they do it with letters well with letters they just take out a little strip and add some connecting lines okay and let's say with a face what do we want to do well you can get creative with a face you can break it up this way and take these little bits out connect those pieces up there we go or you can go at an angle like this you know some people do different approaches and uh, the other thing you, you want to be careful of is you don't want to leave a little piece hanging out in the middle of nowhere so let's say we cut out this little face here and we cut out this lip and we left that hanging out in the middle of nowhere you put your uh, spray paint over it and spray it it'll pop right up so you need something to help hold it down so that little piece is not gonna fly up into the middle of nowhere all right so yeah if you're if you're doing a stencil let's say oh let's do a smiley face okay so we've got a smiley face here's his smile here's his eyes all right so yes he's kind of he's got his a face floating out here and he's got his eyes floating up there well you could just give him glasses like this and connect that and take that away and to this all right perfect okay so now we've got all the bits connected up now the other thing that a lot of my students didn't get when I tried to teach them how to do this is a two stencil approach and there's nothing that says that you can't use more than one stencil so let's say we wanted to use uh, one stencil for the top here we could go here and overlap there all right we could have another stencil that's a little further down and overlap there and go to here and like that and then go like that all right so now what we would do is we'd airbrush or stencil this piece move the stencil up airbrush or stencil this piece move the stencil up again because once you have a stencil you can move it anywhere you like all right so the other thing to do is try to keep your shape small. Break it up into smaller pieces. So if you have a bigger stencil and you break it up into smaller pieces, you can get really artistic with this. Let's say we wanted to do the smiley face again. We wanted to do it like it was through blinds. That'd be kind of cool, right? So we could break it up this way. So it looks like there's uh, a blind coming through. all right cool now the other thing that a lot of people get confused about is let's erase again the difference between a white stencil and a black stencil when you're doing a stencil where you want to create black areas that's one thing but let's say you wanted to do a stencil on a black t-shirt where you wanted to use bleach well if we were doing a face of, uh, let's say, a skull, oh, everybody loves skulls, right? If you're a tattoo artist, you got to have lots of skulls. Okay, so a skull looks like that. That area is black. That area is black. This area is black. Okay. And there. That area could be black, too. There we are. Groovy. Okay. Just do that. Yeah, nice. All right. So now we have a skull and if we want to do this in a black stencil. What areas will we cut out? Well, we need an outline 
because this is uh, whatever the background is is going to be usually a white paper paper so we want little pieces of outline we want to take away bits here so that this when we cut this out it doesn't just fall out and the whole thing falls out of the paper so we'll cut this little piece this little piece and we can leave these floating because they're black areas so they're going to be open they're going to allow the paint to go through okay and we want to cut out this area that area and we'll need to take a piece away here cut that that's fine maybe connect them here take those bits out that looks good all right and you can get creative with this one as well so you want to create smaller areas of black and even if you wanted to get down to the little details you could have the teeth like that little areas of, uh, of black around each tooth and then maybe a little kind of stitch mark in between the teeth okay perfect all right so uh, that's on white material so let's say we wanted to put a white skull on a black background and we wanted to use bleach well now instead of using little outlines and cutting it up so it's smaller areas now we want to make this all black so that black area has got to be connected to this black area okay and this black area is going to stay unbleached there we go that's your nose there and your jaw and the bottom of your eye socket there lovely all right so white areas have to be connected uh, disconnected from other white areas so they all gonna be floating so we have to make little islands of white to create our white stencil in bleach so these little islands can be like this one here and oh we want to we would definitely make this a, an island of, of white so we'll break that up like that how's that look mm -hmm. okay looks pretty cool mm -hmm. okay and cut that up like that and beautiful all right so we're making little islands of white connected by black <laughs> okay so now this whole area is black and when we spray paint we're going to get these black areas staying black and any areas we airbrush white or color white or spray with bleach white are going to turn white so leave these alone so this is an open area in this case that's an open area because it's on a white material and we're airbrushing in black and this one it's on a black material and we're airbrushing in white and cut what are you going to do? Just cut this part out. You're gonna, you're gonna I don't know. I, how about we cut this part out and I don't even know how to turn off, how do, how do I stop the camera from recording? Well, this one, you have to press the button that's in the middle of the back. Thanks for watching. On our next video, we're going to show you how to cut out stencils using a stencil burner um, a cutter, a knife, or even we might even optionally show you how to use a Cric Cut Creator to cut out your stencils automatically. Thanks again. Click on like or subscribe and watch, keep watching.